Hello and welcome to this core practical video. My name is Mr. Osman, a science teacher at Claremont High School in London. Today I'm going to take you through the core practical how light intensity affects the rate of photosynthesis. Your teacher may provide you with further questions to help you reflect on this core practical. Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants and some other organisms, such as algae, use sunlight to synthesize molecules of glucose and oxygen from carbon dioxide and water with the help of the green pigment, chlorophyll. To carry out this experiment, you will need the following. An area of the lab that can be shielded from external light sources, for example, behind a closed blind. Eye protection, BG bottles and caps, beaker of algae balls, hydrogen carbonate indicator, lamp and heat filter, meter ruler, 10 milliliters measuring cylinder, kitchen foil, stop clock, plastic forceps or a spoon, and a pipette. Before the experiment, you need to decide the different distances you are going to investigate between the algae and the lamp. In this instance, I'm going to use 30, 40, 50, and 60 centimeters, but you can decide your own. Place your bottles at measured distances from the lamp. Remove the bottle caps. First, add 10 to 15 algae balls to each bottle. Then add the same volume of indicator solution to each bottle using measuring cylinder and pipette. Put on the bottle caps. Make sure you also set up a control variable. To do this, set up a heat filter between the lamp and where you will place your tubes. The heat filter is a water-filled clear container. To set up your negative control, cover one bottle in kitchen foil so that it's in the dark and place it next to the bottle that is closest to the lamp. Turn on the lamp and time 60 minutes or longer. Compare the colors of all your bottles with those on an indicator scale. Record the pH of the solution in your bottles in a suitable table. For each bottle, calculate the change in pH per hour using the equation shown. Add these calculations to your table. Use your knowledge of photosynthesis to explain the data you have obtained during your experiment. Your teacher may provide you with further questions to help you reflect on this core practical.